Hi, I'm Kevin from AWS. Today, we'll cover enrolling users into your Alexa for Business organization. Alexa for Business lets you use Alexa to voice enable your workplace by providing the tools you need to manage Alexa devices, skills, and users at scale, and an API to build custom context-aware voice skills for your organization. Today, we'll go over making a private scale available to users, configuring your user enrollment invitation, inviting a few users, end user enrollment, and deleting users. It's important for your employees to be able to enroll in Alexa for Business so they can use Alexa as their lightweight digital personal assistant by accessing private skills you make available to them, joining meetings using your default conferencing provider, and linking their Microsoft Exchange calendars if you have a service account set up. In order to get these features, your employees must link their Amazon account that they use to manage their Alexa devices with your organization. This way, they can still control the contacts, account linking of skills and calendar accounts, and more from their Alexa app, unlike a shared device, which can only be controlled by an IT administrator. To do this, you can issue an email with a unique token for your end user to use to enroll in your organization. When they click on this link, they'll be able to log in with Amazon to finish enrollment. In order to help the end user know what they need to do and why they're receiving this email, you can customize a few fields to ensure that they understand the context. Let's first enable a private skill. Eric showed us in an earlier video in this series how to accept a private skill and add it to a group. Here, we'll show how to make the skill available to all enrolled users. To do this, navigate to Skills, select Private Skills, and click the Available checkbox in the Available to Users column. Now this skill is available for all of our users to discover and enable from their Alexa companion app. Now we're all set to go and invite some users. Before we do so, we need to configure our enrollment invitation email. To do this, we'll click on the user enrollment menu item, select edit, and enter the name of our company and a company contact email address for our employees to get in touch with if they have any questions. Click save and we're all set. Next, let's invite some users. To do this, click on Users, Invite User, and then enter the first name, last name, and enterprise email address. If you set up an Exchange Calendar service account, you must use the Exchange email address here in order for a user to be able to link that calendar. Let's invite myself to be able to test this out before I share it with all my users. Click Invite, and as you can see, our invitation has been sent. Since I invited myself to test this out, which we recommend doing, I'll switch to my email and show that I received an email with a unique token in it. I'll click on this token to get started, linking my account to my Alexa for Business organization. We'll click Let's Go. I'll log in with the Amazon account that I use to manage my Alexa devices. And then I'll confirm my account linking. Here, your users will confirm that they want to link their enterprise email address with the email address that they use for their Amazon account that they manage their Alexa devices with. When I choose Link Accounts, I'll be enrolled in my Alexa for Business organization. Now, we can ensure that this user has completed enrollment by checking that the status says Enrolled. If we'd like to delete a user, we could do so by selecting them and choosing to remove users and confirming remove. End users can always unenroll by navigating to alexa.amazon.com slash mp slash unenroll. Here, I could choose to simply unenroll. Now, I hope you're all set to enroll a few users and distribute some private skills. Thanks for watching.